Hello and welcome back to my OTR beginner routes. We're going to be going over Javu Javu. Um, some of the prerequisites to get in here. You have to have Rudo's letter. You're going to need Boomerang to full clear it. And to get to Jabu Jabu itself, you're either going to need to use gold, uh, silver scale um, from Lake Hylia into Zoro's domain, or have some kind of explosives plus Zelda's lullaby to be able to get through the waterfall if you're not comfortable using the chicken to uh, clip in behind it. Not everybody knows how to do that, but that would be breaking logic so within logical reasoning you'll either need silver scale or uh, Zelda's lullaby and some kind of explosives and of course all you'll need to really complete Jabu completely is uh, boomerang Deku nuts are very helpful and sticks I'd recommend having at least seven sticks preferably eight if you have slingshot it would help with uh, the stingers room but if you need more sticks, you can farm them in Zora's Domain. There's a pot that drops a stick, and you can keep on respawning the pot by going in and out of the shop. It's kind of slow, but you do need the supplies in this place. And you can get Deku Nuts by doing that, too. So to start off, you're going to go over here and just hit the switch. Which will open the door. The bubbles can be pretty annoying, but... Just kind of walk past them. A lot of this dungeon's just avoiding enemies as much as possible. So when you come into this room, you're just gonna want to go and drop down this first hole, and Ruto will already be down here. So you'll need to pick her up. Of course, in Rando, this text would be faster. And the babysitting part of the dungeon begins here. Try to just avoid the bubbles as best as you can. Toss her up on the ledge. If you need a Skulchulas for your seed, there's a really easy one you can get here. But we're not going to get those for now. So just get back up. Grab Rudo. And throw her to hit this switch. In Rando, the platform would already be down, so you won't have to wait for it, but it's not a very long wait. Jabu in general is a pretty um it's a pretty fast dungeon for how long it takes, but the actual like movement around it is kind of slow. Especially for how many checks are in here since you only get four. Right. So jump this way, there'll be boxes so you know you're going in the right direction. And we'll want to go to the back of the room here, carrying Rudo. Now the route that I'm going to recommend, you can go some on some variation of it, but for the most part I recommend starting by going to the left side, going to this switch, dropping Rudo, and then doing these guys. They can be kind of annoying because the boomerang is like pretty poorly made in the game, but if you kind of just do this, they're super simple to defeat. So this will be your first check of the dungeon, obviously. Go get the chest, then leave. Grab Rudo. Now go to this door. Thanks, Navi. Appreciate it, bud. In this room, you'll want to kill these with Deku Nuts. So you can pop a lot of them at once. If you don't have Deku Nuts, you can use Boomerang, but it's significantly slower. Obviously, grab this chest, then grab Rudo and leave.
Now you want to go to the right side. Thanks again, Navi. Drop Rudo. You don't need her now. So these stingers pop up. Stick kills them in one shot. You can also kill them in uh, two shots of the slingshot if you do have that. But this is why you'll need a lot of supplies for the bare minimum uh, for this dungeon. It's just going to be in general. Killing those stingers. Take up four. That'll give you another check right here. Now you'll want to go to the room right up here. There'll be another one of these uh, things. Just kill it like you did the last one. On this room, there's no chest, so just start walking back to the door as soon as you kill it. Now you'll want to head to the middle uh, pathway. And do some back walking here, it's slightly faster. For this guy, you can kill him however you want. Uh, I prefer to take out the jellyfish around him first. Because I can find that they uh, get in your way more than anything else. Okay, good. My boomerang is hitting him. Alright. This room also doesn't have a chest, so just walk to the door once you kill everything. And now go get Rudo. She should be on the upper level. Oh. So just run past these guys. Go get Rudo. Then you'll want to walk back around and go through this hole right here. If you need Sculptulas, here's another two that are very easy and fast. So I'd recommend grabbing those if you do need them or you haven't gotten your 10 or 20 yet. So throw Rudo up here. Obviously she's going to go up and get uh, stolen away from the big Octo. So when the big Octo comes down, you can actually one-shot him with a Deku Stick. Uh, all you have to do is hit him in the back. You don't even need to use the boomerang for this fight. What you can do is take some damage off of the spikes to sneak right past him. And then just turn around and do a jump slash with the stick. Even though it's not showing his weak spot, it will instantly kill him. It's a very, uh, very useful strat. It really speeds up the dungeon the less time you have to spend doing uh, bosses. Alright, so here I got hit by it, so I'm just gonna sneak past him. There, have it turn around. Just do something like that. Just a single Deku Stick uh, Jump Slash does pretty good work on him. If for any reason you're low on health, this uh, pot right here has a fairy in it always so that's a good little backup if you want to fill your bottle up yeah. this room is absolutely horrible I'd recommend killing this guy if he ever like bothers you and gets too much in your way just use the boomerang on him Just hit these guys. This one's about to come active again. Just jump across. Oh, I don't know how that didn't grab actually. This is one of those rooms that is just super frustrating for no reason. <laughs> Guess you gotta wait for him to be solid before you can jump to him. But once you do that. I'm gonna go here. 
jump to the end it's faster because you need to go that direction anyways grab the box She'll drop the box, go through here. There's a strat where you can hit the switch from down here, but for people who don't want to learn that, you can just go up. So the Skulchula right there, I'd recommend getting that guy if you need Skulchulas. All the Skulchulas in this dungeon are really quick, so they're really um they're really good to grab. Once you get up here, you just want to target this. Once you throw it, you can side hop off, so you're gonna be at the bottom. And then you just go do Baronade. So while it's a relatively quick dungeon, it doesn't have a lot of checks, but it is pretty simple, all things considered. Now, Baronade um, can be done really efficiently if you get good cycles on it, but. For beginners, I wouldn't worry too much about how fast your Baronade kill is, unless you really want to practice it. Baronade's not a uh, extremely slow boss, besides the uh, like third phase is pretty bad. Yep. Target the right one. So, if you throw this boomerang really fast, then you can use one nut and kill all of them. And then if you throw it again, you can stun it, and then throw a nut and kill them all again. So that's the way you do fast baronade. It's all about timing. Once you get here, you want to use a stick. And then if you take damage once baronade goes down, uh, baronade will come up faster. So it's more efficient to do that. After you do two uh, jump slashes with the stick, if you don't have any more sticks, you can actually use a pot to kill baronade. No, oh, can I grab it? No. I want you to come over here so I can show off the pot strat. So yeah, there you go. So in case you run out of sticks during the fight, if you've already done two jump slacks with the stick, just throw a pot at Baronade. And you can kill him. <laughs> Probably the best strat for Baronade to kill. It's just uh, throwing the pot at them. Then after that, you get your last check, and then you can go get your stone or medallion. Uh, that's basically all there is to Jabu. It's a fairly simple dungeon, but it does have uh, quite a bit of prerequisites to get into, needing, uh, obviously, quite a few items for quite a few amount of checks that you get in total. But if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment under the video, and I'll do my best to respond and try to help.